Good evening everybody, I hope you are doing 100% all good, yes, yes, the years are going past and we are in the year of 2024 and I got something special lined up for you which I was thinking the other day that I'm going to put something lined up to speak about some topics of course, especially according to spinning as well and before I go any further, just check out this video on something that's going to come your way anytime soon. Yes, there you have it, ladies and gents. Shy Immortal 2024 is coming your way and it's gonna take place right here in the Mother City in Cape Town. The venue has been chosen and been selected already. It will take place at Kanyalok Shopping Center. First time in Cape Town. Mm hmm First time, first time. Uh, entries have been submitted already and it's officially closed as well. There's around about 32 entries about spinners around the mother city and in Gauteng as well and PE boys also up in the building also um, what do you think was gonna take place the first place uh, we got Sham Sam that took place two years in a row um, yes you don't you never know maybe it will be you that's actually here in Cape Town as well because that's what I am actually looking out for um, look, we got Katra that took place already, uh, first place already, um, won the Red Bull Shy Moto. We had um, Sam Sam as well. So, this year I can see there's a variety of whole lot of much more entries that took place. Um, yeah, let's see who's gonna be first um, taking that cup right here in the mother city in Cape Town so the show is the show's name is let's get boosted I came up with it a um, few weeks back already it's just got a time to line up as well there's some more people that's gonna come on board so this is actually the first episode and the first topic I like to speak about is at Kilan International Raceway um, I think it was the last street to strip there is a little bit, a little incident that literally just caused an accident and I would like you guys to actually comment below what is your comment on and share to us what you think what went wrong right here on this video check it out okay so you guys check out that video over there eh? So, number one, as the car was um, doing donuts, as you guys can see on the rear, on our side, on the rear left hand side, but as per the driver will be on his right hand side. Okay, he has his team, his team, um, teammate with him over there, pushing the rear, and then literally, Basically the car swerved to the to the right and then once he released his brakes and then suddenly the car swerved to the left and luckily there was nobody actually at that point there normally um, MSA camera guys they will normally be on that spot there as well at the launching spot as well like literally nobody was there and then um, just as the car actually swerved to the left as you guys can see just there by the master there was a lady there i think yeah it's a lady that's walking down there um so the car can actually swerve right in there so luckily nothing happened but share down below in the comments what you think what went wrong there um some i know some of you guys say you don't know his wheel and all this stuff so just share down in the comment below i'd like to get uh each and everybody's um thoughts and comments what do you what do you think about that then um oh yes yes there's some people that's lined up like to come join also on let's get boosted 
So I'm trying to get someone on board. Um, people send me messages already. Um, let me know when you're ready. And the poster that I put it out there, ladies and gents, is not a car show. It's basically just about this. Someone can actually sit here next to me and we can actually talk about some topics about spinning, stones, uh, anything that's coming up, uh, events, anything or ideas, what you think about the, the law which you have to, obviously there is rules and regulations that we as motorists have to follow the rules. Um, talk about following the rules this morning and sometimes if I drive on the road, especially when cars are bumper bumper, then I normally see traffic officers, metro, police, they just go fast down, straight down on the yellow lane um, and sometimes I'm thinking is this compulsory, uh, is it part of the job which they can go forward and go do or can they just decide any time, any moment, any place which they can decide and go down on the yellow lane without any siren on um, because I saw that many times already which a traffic officer or policeman just decides to go down the yellow line fast like 100 kilometers per hour passing other vehicles that's literally standing still JP if you listen to this uh, I'll appreciate that you actually take this forward um, to management or to the operations team and so forth because I mean it's unnecessarily it's not it's not nice really it's it's literally literally not good for other motorists really because you speeding down here on the left hand side next moment I will catch you up standing there in front like nothing happened so if there is no operations running uh, law enforcement, policemen, traffic officers please obey the rules also like others do so I would highly appreciate that whoever is listening to this I would like you guys to share it on your side as well and you can actually comment below also on what you think um, regarding to that so I know I've been a little bit quiet uh, regarding to on my channel, it's been a year, I, I'm back here in Cape Town in the mother city and yes I was a bit quiet, I was living in Johannesburg myself and my family and then uh, we came back to Cape Town yes because this I know this is the mother city you won't go wrong here um, so the lifestyle is still going on so I do apologize for those that was watching out when is Toxic Boost is a motorsport going to post another video about spinning especially I get all of comments about spinning so I just want to say thank you for those for uh, supporting and watching my videos I highly appreciate it 100% and don't worry much more is coming your way as well so that's ladies and gents um, I am in the pipeline to get um, a spinner or someone that's much more under the motor lifestyle or someone that's a petrol cook to come on board for the next episode and I mean it's it's gonna be buck wild really and yes ladies and gents be safe on the road and buckle up and be safe and for those that didn't subscribe to the channel yet please ladies and gents subscribe to the channel and more boosts coming your way